Nicosia International Airport Greek, Diethnes Aerodromio Lukosias Turkish, Lefkosa Ulaslararasi Havalani is a largely disused airport located 8.2 km miles west of the Cypriot capital city of Nicosia in the Lakatamia suburb. It was originally the main airport for the island, but commercial activity ceased following the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 1974. The airport site is now mainly used as the headquarters of the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Cyprus. Topic History Nicosia International Airport was the principal airport for Cyprus from its initial construction in the 1930s as the Royal Air Force Station RAF Nicosia until 1974. At first it acted principally as a military airport, and it is still owned by the British Ministry of Defence. The landing strip was constructed in 1939 by the Shell Company and Pyrides and Michaelides Limited. Services were provided by Misrare with four-engined DH.86 aircraft. During the Second World War the airport's facilities and runway were extended by local contractors Stelios Joanno and George Periscovades. American bombers used the runway in 1943-44 when returning from the Allied bombings of the Romanian Ploiesti oil fields, after the war commercial services were reintroduced, and by 1948 Misrare, BOAC, Cyprus Airways and Maya were providing regular services. The facilities provided were limited, with three Nissan huts used as a terminal building housing customs, immigration, civil aviation, signals, traffic and operational services. Restaurant services were provided by the NAFI. In 1949 the first terminal building was designed and built by the Public Works Department at a cost of £50,000 in 2015 and was opened in May of that year. The building was then extended together with the aircraft apron in 1959. The building was vacated in 1968 with the opening of the new terminal. The Nicosia Flying Club and other flying organizations continued to use the old building. The RAF withdrew from the airfield in 1966 due to limited space brought on by vastly increasing civilian aircraft movements. On 27 March 1968 a modern new terminal, designed by the German company Dorsch und German from Wiesbaden, and built by Cybarco, was opened, at a cost of £1,100,000, of which £500,000 was contributed by Britain. The new terminal could accommodate 800 passengers at one time and the parking apron 11 aircraft. In June 1974 plans were in place for the terminal to be extended and the apron to be enlarged to 16 aircraft of which two places were to be for wide-bodied aircraft. But this was never to happen. On 15 July 1974 right-wing Greek nationalists overthrew the democratically elected president of Cyprus, Archbishop Makarios. Nicosia Airport was briefly closed by the Coupists, then used on 17 July 1974 to ferry troops from Greece to Cyprus to support the coup against Makarios. Only on 18 July was it allowed to reopen to civilian traffic, becoming a site of chaotic scenes as holidaymakers and other foreign nationals tried to leave the island. Finally, on 20 July 1974, Turkey invaded Cyprus, bombing the airport heavily and forcing its permanent closure. The leaders of the Greek Cypriot community and Turkish Cypriot community discussed reopening Nicosia International Airport at the beginning of 1975. After the leader of the Greek Cypriot community, Archbishop Makarios, had initially rejected the Turkish Cypriot proposal to reopen the airport to international traffic under joint control, agreement to reopen it was in principle, reached during the negotiations in Vienna from 28 April to 3 May 1975. However, discussions by a joint committee set up for that purpose were unproductive. The last commercial airline flights out of Nicosia Airport took place in 1977 under UN special authorization, when three of the remaining Cyprus Airways aircraft stranded there since the 1974 invasion were retrieved by British Airways engineers and flown to London. One of these, a Hawker Siddeley Trident 2E, is now on show at the Imperial War Museum Duxford. With the Turkish invasion the airport was the scene of some of the heaviest fighting between Cypriot and Turkish forces, which led the United Nations Security Council to declare it a United Nations Protected Area UNPA during the conflict. This required both sides to withdraw at least 500 metres from the perimeter of the airport. 
With the ceasefire signed on 16 August 1974 Nicosia Airport became part of the United Nations controlled buffer zone separating the two communities on the island, and it has been inoperable as a fully functioning airport ever since. However, active United Nations helicopters are based at the site, it is the location of Blue Beret Camp which is used as the headquarters for the UN peacekeeping mission in Cyprus UNFICYP and it is used as one of the sites for intercommunal peace talks. It is also the home to a number of recreational facilities for UN personnel. Following the closure of Nicosia Airport a new airport, Larnaca International Airport LCA, was opened in the Republic of Cyprus in 1975, and in northern Cyprus the Air John International Airport ECN was opened in 2004, both on former RAF airfields. Paphos International Airport PFO was also opened in the Republic of Cyprus in 1983. There have been some plans for Nicosia Airport to be reopened under United Nations UN control as a goodwill measure, but so far neither the Greek Cypriots nor the Turkish Cypriots have seriously pursued this option. In 2013, Michael Periscos of the Cornaro Institute in Cyprus argued that with three other functioning airports in Cyprus, the old Nicosia Airport would no longer be needed even in the event of a political settlement on the island. Instead, he suggested it should be turned into a tax free industrial zone, designed to attract foreign high tech firms, and employing Cypriots from both the Greek and Turkish communities on the island. Incidents and accidents On 3 March 1956 a Hanley Page Hermes a Hermes IVGALDW operated by Skyways Limited was destroyed on the ground by a time bomb in the forward freight compartment. The explosion occurred 20 minutes before the aircraft was due to depart for the United Kingdom with 68 passengers. There were no fatalities. On 27 April 1956 an RAF Douglas Dakota was destroyed on the ground by a bomb thought to have been placed by EOKA fighters. On 20 April 1967 a Bristol Britannia crashed on approach to the airport in bad weather, 126 killed. On 29 January 1973 an Egyptair Ilyushin Il-18 aircraft Reg no Su AOV crashed into the Pentadactylos mountain range on approach to the airport killing all 37 aboard 7 crew and 30 passengers. On August 29, 1973, a Czechoslovak Airlines Tupolev Tu-104 operating flight CSA-531 from Damascus overran the runway upon landing. The aircraft was due to fly onwards to Prague from Nicosia. No fatalities were reported on the flight, and the wreckage of the aircraft is still close to the airport. On 20 July 1974, two empty Cyprus Airways airliners a Hawker Siddeley HS-121 Trident 1E, 5B Day, and a Trident 2E, 5B Dab were destroyed on the ground by the Turkish Air Force during the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. On the 22nd of July 1974, 33 people were killed when 20 aging Nord Noratlas and 10 C-47 Skytrains, of the 354 Transport Squadron, Pegasus, were assigned to transport a Greek commando force to protect the airport from invading Turks. This operation was named Operation Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> 